Good morning everyone. I'm Caleb and I've got a passage of a scripture. I'm going to read this morning from the book of Hebrews. If you got a Bible, please turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verses 23 to 25. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful and let us consider one another to stir up love and good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching Let's have a deeper look on these amazing verses this morning. Verse 23, the first part, says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. Now that we are going to go out of the third national lockdown, now that this COVID pandemic is going to be beaten, and the new season in our life, as a community, as a church community, will be started soon, I would like to encourage you and myself to keep on holding fast and keep on keeping. One commentator says that the exhortation, let us hold fast, might well be written on the cover of every Christian Bible. What amazing idea. We live in such a changeful age. However, there is not a place in the Christian experience for a hope that is firm at one time and shaky in another time. We are not up and down followers of uh, Christ. Hold on keep on and go on that's everything and this is the message later part of the verse 23 says for he who promised is faithful the significant chapter of 11 the heroes of faith next follows hebrews chapter 10 however the lord asks us to keep our eyes fixed on jesus neither on Abraham nor on anybody else. Why? Because he is faithful. Keep your eyes fixed on our Lord Jesus Christ and run. That is the picture of Christian life. Verse 24. And let us consider one another in order to a stir up love and good works. I love this verse. The language is the language of the football stadium that is very much applicable not only in this season but also all through our journey of life. We got a race to run and it is important for us to finish. Love needs stimulation and society faith and hope can be practiced by a solitary even when you self isolating yourself but the experience of love is possible only in a community i think how much it could have been more difficult if we had not a chance to do our zoom meetings or online Sunday services. Verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Now that we have a chance to meet through Zoom, this verse emphasizes being an active member of the church, of following leaders, cooperation with leaders, not neglecting of meeting together. 
It stresses that safety aligns with fellowship. When you are under pressure, as we were during this season, we are and we will be again. The devil will pick up the Christians on their own. When pressure is on, stay close in the family and do not neglect your links with the family of Christ. This definitely is one of the lessons that we have learned in this season. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you that we can gather to receive something from you, Lord. Thank you that we can gather to give all glory to you, Lord. Lord, please help us to encourage each other with our shared faith and values. Help us to bless one another, Lord. I pray in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you and have a good day.